Hi everyone, I'm Damon McCool, Public Programming Specialist at Eastern State Penitentiary, filling in for Marnie Penn. Welcome back to Prisons in the Pandemic, where we examine the ways COVID-19 is impacting incarcerated people, correction staff, administrators, and other stakeholders within the criminal justice system. At the close of last week, there were 49,418 confirmed cases of incarcerated people with COVID-19. In total, 534 incarcerated people have died from the virus. Cases among prison staff now total 11,460, and staff deaths now total 48. The number of staff deaths is fewer than was reported last week. This may be because the cause of death for those people has been determined to be something other than COVID-19. If we learn any new information about these numbers, we'll be sure to let you know. Let's take a look at one story making headlines this week. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Phoenix metro area jails has surpassed the number of confirmed cases in all Arizona state prisons combined. Of the 4,400 people incarcerated in Maricopa County jails, 313 have tested positive for the virus, compared to 252 cases at the state level. As county officials consider whether to test every person held in custody, Corrections Director David Shin has called for all prison staff at the state level to be tested. Cases among jail staff in Maricopa County total 19, and more than 100 state workers have tested positive for the virus as well. Despite a growing number of cases in jails, Maricopa County has decreased their jail population by more than one-third, from over 7,000 in December to about 4,500 today. Arizona is currently experiencing a surge in COVID-19 cases, with over 1,600 new cases reported on Friday alone. How do you think local jails and state prisons can work together to slow the spread of COVID-19? We look forward to your feedback. I'm Damon McCool. Tune in next time for another Prisons and the Pandemic.